In this video, we're going to have a look at the Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment for building a natural language processing solution using Azure AI language. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So Microsoft Applied Skills Assessments are the latest way to get your skills accredited by Microsoft. If I just Google Microsoft Applied Skills, we'll get to this page announcing its launch. And then if I click on the Microsoft Applied Skills link, and then browse applied skills, you can see the currently 21 Microsoft applied skills. And the first of them is build a natural language processing solution with Azure AI language. So the skills that are required for this are deploy a language resource and use pre-built models, create a custom text classification solution and create a custom named entity recognition or NER solution. Now there is a Microsoft learning path available. However, be careful. It was not designed for this particular Microsoft Applied Skills credential. It was designed for the exam AI102 and therefore goes outside of what you need. For example, the Azure AI Translator service, create speech enabled apps with Azure AI services and translate speech, do not require the Azure AI language resource and therefore are outside of this assessment. So let's have a look at the various built in models that we've got with Azure AI language. So first of all, you go to portal.azure.com and you just type in the word language. And here we have the language service and then you can create a new one. Once created, you can then go to the Language Studio, which is a set of user interface based tools. In other words, ones that you can use without getting into programming. So here I'm in the Language Studio, language.cognitive.azure.com. So some of the pre-built models include extract key phrases. So if I click on each of these and then run a demo, you can see the phrases that it has extracted. Find linked entities. So this is saying, I'm not entirely sure what these entities are. I'm going to link them to Wikipedia. So this can be useful, for instance, if you have the word Mars, is it relating to a planet or a chocolate bar? So the context is very important in there. Extract personally identifiable information or PII. So these are things that you might want to obscure. So here you can see these are things like the restaurant, the person's name, the address. And you can also show this text without the PII. We've also got extract named entities. So if I run that, you can see we've got things like organizations people names, people types, date time, quantity, skills, currency, and more. Going to the classify text, you can detect the language. So for example, this phrase, which is in French, the computer has identified as being in French. You can also analyze sentiment. So is it positive, neutral, or negative? So it will do that for the document as a whole, and it will do it for individual sentences. It can also identify the target and the assessment. So in this case, I found the zipper. So that's the object, the target, a little bit difficult. There's the assessment. Or we can have multiple targets with one assessment. Together, a target or multiple targets and an assessment are called an opinion. If you're going to understand questions and conversational language, you can use this to give Azure some source material like this and then ask it a question based entirely on that source material. For example, what is the size of these laptops? Well, you have a long answer and you also have a short answer together with the confidence score between zero and 100%. How confident that Azure has got the right answer. And you can also summarize text and there are various ways to summarize. So for example, we have got the extractive summary. So that gets key sentences out of the text. And there's also the abstractive summary. So this says what the text is about, but uses different words. You can also do this with conversations. And you can see the various aspects 
that you can get from the conversation. Now, these pre-built models go so far, but it might not be exactly what you want. And this is when we can use custom models. For example, I've got a custom label classification here. So I can give it some text and I want it to say this particular text is all about Azure or food or travel. And then I can test it saying, here is some additional text. What is this about out of these categories? Alternatively, I've also got named entity recognition. So suppose I've got some text which has a series of entities. So user, department, operating system. So I can give it some demo data and then say, okay, here is the real data. Where is the user, department and operating system? So between these two custom models, and the pre-built models, these are all of the requirements of the Build a Natural Language Processing Solution with Azure AI Language. However, you will also be required to have programming experience in Python or C Sharp, so you'll be able to interact with these pre-built or custom models. Now, if this is of interest to you, then I hope you will go to our website, idodata.com where we have a course all about this Microsoft Applied Skills Assessment. So we start with creating an Azure account and a language resource, and then we have a look at the pre-built models. We'll start off with the detect language capability, and then we'll interact with it using Python and C Sharp in Visual Studio Code. Then we'll have a look at other pre-built models, and again, interact with them with Python and C Sharp where appropriate. And then we'll have a look at the custom text classification and named entity recognition. So we'll upload documents into a storage account. We'll create a new project. We'll label the documents, create a training job and deploy and test it before using it in Python and C Sharp. So if this is of interest to you, then please go to our website, idodata.com and then go to AI, AI language. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like the video and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. And if you're interested in any of the other Microsoft applied skills, especially the AI and Power Platform ones, then either go to our website or click on the playlist that you'll see on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.